quite a few years ago I was tasked with writing a TV series uh, about Mary Queen of Scots but in the course of it I was sort of looking at the whole of Mary's life and the kind of key incidents and the incident towards the end of her life, uh, her reign I should say, not her life, um, where she kind of lost the throne of Scotland that I kept coming back to was this day when she was abducted or depending on whose account you believe, it willingly absconded with um, James Hepburn, Earl of Bothwell. You're looking at the history, so you look at what eyewitnesses are saying, and then you see it as a series of actions. And when I did that, it was so abundantly clear that this was the story of a woman who was assaulted. The thing I love about the play is that it's written like a thriller. So it's a real page turner. And Rona's writing is extraordinary because once it starts the story, you just can't get off that train. You know, it, it just keeps driving forward and it's absolutely um, relentless in its pursuit of the truth. So I love the, the story of the play and the way it's told. I love that it's a political thriller. I love the way that it's um, the, about the powers behind the throne. It's brilliant in being both historical and incredibly contemporary, is that it's a play about consent, and it's a play about consent on many levels. It's a play about wi women's consent in sex, but it's also about uh, how consent and dem democracy are vital to each other, and if you don't have consent you don't have democracy. We've got three ex extraordinary Scottish actors. Rona Morrison I've worked with before in the Haystack. And I've worked with her on, on the James plays and Mary is one of the James plays, the kind of cycle of history plays so it's gorgeous having her back in it. We've also got Thompson who is one of the characters in the court so he's invented and he is played by Brian Vernell and then Dougie Henshaw playing James Melville who is a real character. And Dougie is just fantastic in the role. It's a huge moral journey um, and a monster of a pun art, but he's cracking. He's never off stage. Yeah. This is my sixth production at Hampstead, so that's a gorgeous feeling because it, it, in some ways it feels like the theatre I've got, the one of, well, probably the closest and the longest association I've had with any theatre. So it's always felt like a home from home and I've always sort of lived in this bit of London when I lived in London. Um, and then to combine that with working with rocks again is just gorgeous. It's kind of like two families coming together.